Ai, 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 ai. A carnival of so-called expert called A. N. Wilson has finally spilled the beans of exactly what Yukimedia are hoping to achieve with regards to heritage foundations court case against the Department of Homeland Security. Whereby it's clear, this case is a vendetta against Prince Harry, whereby UK media are behind this case and they want Harry deported from the US and back to the UK. My family, we know that that is the outcome that Carnival of so-called experts and UK tabloids want. But now, they have expounded on more of what they want to see happening. I'll explain. My family, as you all know, Britain's royal family is described as the longest running soap opera or drama show in Britain. And my family, as you also know, the carnival of so-called experts, they want members of the royal family to keep performing for them, to keep entertaining them, the media and the public, whereby the public tunes in to watch what is going on in the royal family. That's what UK media and even the farm really want. And remember here, there is a script, a script that is written by Fleet Street, by the UK tablet press. My family, in conjunction with the farm, there is a script that is written. A storyline that my family, UK Media, what it followed to the T. In this storyline, there are heroes and there are villains. As you all know, Harry Meghan have been painted as the villains in the story, even though Harry Meghan have never ever been the villains. It's William, Kate, Charles, Camilla who are the villains in this story. And even if Prince Harry has refused to play the game, even if Harry has been vocal in saying this, I am not going to play the game that killed my mother. Even though Harry has refused to perform for the UK tablet media, still, UK media don't care about that. They are trying to force Harry into the game, back into the game. And even if Harry doesn't want to play the game, still, my family, as you can see online, UK media, they won't stop talking about Harry or Meghan. To them, in their own minds, Harry and Meghan are still part of the game, whether Harry and Meghan like it or not. That's why, even if Harry and Meghan aren't seen, still, my family, UK Media, the Rota, will invent a story about Harry and Meghan to continue the drama. My family, even if Harry and Meghan don't want to play the game, with UK media, or even don't want to associate or engage with the UK tablet press. Still, my family, you will have UK media watching articles saying that sources close to Harry Meghan have said this and that, even though we all know Harry Meghan have a zero and game policy with the UK tablet press. My family, and that's why I'm saying. Even if Harry and Meghan have refused to play the game, UK media are forcing them, forcing their names to continue being part of the game, using Harry and Meghan's name to continue the drama, and then blame Harry and Meghan for the drama created by the UK public press themselves. 
by the rotor themselves. My family, that's what normally happens. Now, a carnival of so-called expert called A.N. Wilson of the Daily Mail. First of all, wrote my family an article with a headline whereby my family, he hopes, he said that he hopes that Prince Harry feels guilty and that he reflects on how he treated K. Moulton, my family. And that he says the royals could do with this rift being healed. First of all, allow me to cover that before my family. I speak about A.N. Wilson's final words. Final words of the outcome he hopes to achieve. Of the outcome Yukimiya are hoping to achieve with that court case whereby they're trying to get Harry reported. There is an outcome that my family, they hope to achieve. And A.N. Wilson just revealed that outcome. And before I discuss that, my family, first of all, let me say this. The one thing that Prince Harry has ever done, and all of you are a witness to this, the one thing that Harry has ever done is simply do everything in his power to protect his family. Meghan, Archie, Lilibet. They are his family. Whether Kate, William, Charles, Camilla, like it or not, Archie, Lilibet, and Meghan are Prince Harry's family. When you are married, your number one duty, obligation, is to your family. When you have kids, your number one duty, obligation, is to your kids, your family. Your wife and your kids are a priority because that's your family. They belong to you. You know? The fact is, Kate lied that Harry's wife, Megan, had made Kate cry. Both Harry and Megan have told the truth of what happened. And clearly, the one who caused problems was Kate Moulton, and that's a fact. The one who made Megan cry while Megan was planning Megan's own wedding is Kate Moulton. That's a fact. One other fact is that Megan was bullied and abused based on a lie, a lie spread by Kate Moulton. That is Megan who made her cry. Behind the scenes, Kate admitted to Megan, Megan, I know I'm the one who made you cry. But publicly, Kate refused to correct her own lies about Megan. Even despite the fact that Harry and Megan were pleading for that lie to be corrected. And the fact is, when Kate married William, Harry treated Kate like a sister. Harry welcomed Kim Moulton into the royal fold, into the royal family. Harry treated Kate very well with respect and dignity. Even when William would ignore Kim Moulton, Harry would be there to support Kim Moulton. It is so, so sad that my family Kate could not welcome the woman Harry fell in love with, Megan, into the royal fold. Instead, even when Megan was planning her wedding, Kate made Megan cry. You know, my family thing is with Kate and William's wedding, did anyone make Kate cry? Did Harry make Kate cry? No, he did not. Harry treated both William and Kate with the utmost respect. It is so sad that William and Kate have never been able to to reciprocate the kindness Harry showed them. Harry followed them for years as a third wheel. For years. For many years. In even what you can describe as those good old days. Where Harry was following Kate and William as a third wheel. In most of the engagement family. In most of the engagements done. My family in the UK. And even family in um, 
in different places, Harry would follow William and Kate around, like a third wheel. And my family, even despite all those years that Harry supported Kate and William, it is so sad when Harry fell in love, clearly, even from Harry's memoir pair, William couldn't extend the same support to Prince Harry that Harry gave him and Kim Hilton all these years. And my family, whose fault is that? It's William's fault. It's Kate's fault, my family. It's Kate's fault because they allowed their jealousy towards Harry marrying a remarkable woman, Meghan. My family. A woman who had achieved something in life before marrying Harry. They allowed the jealousy towards Harry meeting an amazing woman. To my family, cloud their judgment. And my family, that's why, no wonder, William was never ever okay with Harry even being with Megan because of jealousy. Because of jealousy. You know, just imagine this. William is a fan of suits. He's watching Suits. Harry tells us both William and Kim Wilson watched Suits and they loved it. They loved it. Now imagine William seeing Harry come home with a beautiful woman from a show that he loves. My family. And then he, William, Mary Kim Wilson, who accomplished nothing before marriage. William got jealous, full of envy towards Harry. And he was like, no, 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 no. This, you know, relationship won't go anywhere. First of all, he was xenophobic towards Megan. And then, when Harry fell in love with Megan, William did everything in his power to even try and stop Harry and Megan's marriage. My family, even before Harry and Megan got married, Harry tells us in spare, William was even issuing threats towards Harry, saying that Harry. My friends and I will hold you down, you know, during Harry's bachelor's, my family, party. They'd hold Harry down and forcefully shave Harry's beard. I mean, my family, Harry never ever caused problems to William before William got married. But William did that to Prince Harry out of jealousy and envy. Out of jealousy and envy. My family, you know. And the jealousy turned into hatred. Now, who is to blame for that? For all of that? It's William and Kim Wilson, not Harry Meghan. It isn't Harry Meghan's fault that William and Kim Wilson were super envious of Meghan and Harry. That isn't Harry Meghan's fault. It isn't Harry Meghan's fault that Kate was intimidated by Meghan's star power. That isn't Meghan's fault. It isn't Harry and Meghan's fault that my family, the public, fell in love with both Harry and Meghan, you know, completely with them as a couple. It isn't Harry and Meghan's fault. But then, Meghan is blamed because of the, my family, enormous um, star power that both she and my family, you know, Harry have. Especially after... Both she and Prince Harry got together and got married, my family. Meghan is blamed. For my family, you know, that star power, which every single day UK media keep on trying to diminish or my family dim Harry Meghan's light. You know, one even Meghan was told to be 50% of herself because clearly William and Kate were full of envy and that isn't Meghan's fault. But sadly, my family, they blamed Megan. And my family, basically all this that is happening of Harry, do you feel guilty now that Kim Wilson has revealed that she allegedly had cancer? Remember, we have no evidence that Kate even had cancer. Zero evidence. My family, zero evidence. And I say zero evidence because my family, we haven't seen her medical records. Because if this was Megan, I think you all know. UK media want proof. But with Kim Wilton, they're like, just take her word for it. Just take her word for it and believe her. 
without any evidence. And that's the same person who my family released a fake photo of herself and the kids. You know, to the point that international picture agencies were saying that, you know what, we are never ever going to believe anything that comes out of Crystal Palace. And they compared my family, you know, Crystal Palace as a source to North Korea, Iran, sources which are deemed untrustworthy. And then Kate announced cancer, my family, that she had cancer. And that right now, every single person, every single Wikimedia, media, you know, outlet mostly, they're like, you know, okay, now let's believe her without any evidence. Zero, zero evidence at all. Not even one person is asking for there to be my family to be shown evidence, you know, because Kate does have a track record of lying, you know. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. When Megan confessed that she thought of taking her own life back in the UK, Piers Morgan said, I don't believe her. You know, that's what he said. Kate says she has cancer. It's like, let's everyone, let's believe her. Even you, I know in your heart, you must be like, how is that okay? The double standards are too much. Double standards are are too much. For Megan, you can be like, don't believe her. For Kate, let's believe everything she says, even if she was caught lying. Not once, not twice, many times. My family, I'll always call out that hypocrisy. You know? And for now, you know, as I, my family continue, there's nothing that Harry should feel sorry for. Especially when it comes to confessing or telling the truth of my family, the pain that Kate caused Megan. Harry welcomed Kate into, into the royal family. It is sad. Kate never welcomed Megan into my family, the royal family. It is sad. But true. But true, my family. So Harry has nothing to feel guilty about or feel sorry for. Because the one thing that Harry has always been doing is simply fighting to protect his family. And my family, I applaud Harry for always being a good man, a good husband, a good father. I may continue to be a good man, a good husband, and my family, a good father. Now let me go right ahead and tell you, my family, even the purpose of this entire video. It's my family, this plot of the Wikimedia to get Harry deported. My family, it is much more than my family you have been thinking. And now Ian Wilson has revealed the agenda behind it. What they hope to achieve. The script that they hope will become a reality. My family, allow me to kindly read you this. From A.N. Wilson, a carnival of so-called experts, expert who writes columns for the Daily Mail. Now, my family, he says that a sickness or illnesses in families can be the cause of reconciliations. So, it's encouraging to learn that Prince Harry Meghan have sent a tender private message to their brother and sister-in-law after Kay Moulton's so-called moving announcement. This communication, which followed a public statement from Montecito, which in Kay Moulton, health and healing, is said to have been the first in months between the warring Wells brothers, William and Harry. Let's all hope that the truth, if there is one, lasts. And that Meghan and Harry are eventually welcomed back into the royal family. And one day perhaps into the hearts of the British nation. Now according to Carnival of so-called expert A.N. Wilson, he says the only way that Harry Meghan can be welcomed into the hearts of the British nation is first of all to come back 
to the abusers to come back and rejoin the raw fold. My family, as I've always said, this conversation about will Harry Meghan come back or not clearly is going to continue for years and years to come. Clearly. It's going to be every single day. We are by UK Media are hoping and wishing Harry comes back. It's going to be every single day. Clearly, it is non-stop. Because clearly, Harry was never ever supposed to escape the gilded cage. And now that he has, UK Media are trying to drag Harry back inside the gilded cage using any means whatsoever that they consider necessary. And my friend, no wonder, even if Harry has said, US, my family is now their home. They always love the UK, but the US is now their home. Even if Harry says that, you can hear like, Harry, when are you coming? Will you come back? Will you come back? Oh, you know what? We are going to force you back. We're going to force you back. Oh, oh, no, no, no. It's because you want to come back. That's why we are trying to force you back. We are saving you because... Basically, we know you want to come back. We know you do. We know you do. Even though Harry did say publicly in an interview with Anthony Cooper that he does not see himself ever returning as a full-time working member of the royal family. But you can be like, ignore that. Scratch that. No, 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 no. Harry wants to come back. He wants to come back. In fact, he wants to come back so bad that right now is a case by Heritage versus Department of Homeland Security whereby Clearly, hopefully, the UK media, they are hoping that it will lead to Harry being deported. My family, and we are coming to that right now. We are coming to that right now. To what A.N. Wilson, my family, has said about the sick plan of the UK tabloid media. The sick plan, my family, of what, of how they want to drag Harry back. And then say how much Harry wants to come back even though my family clearly is happy in the U.S. My family, now, let me just clearly, first of all, even say this. Harry and Meghan are loved. Despite all these years of this makeup against, against Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan are loved. Even by people in Britain, they are loved. With the exception of Karens and voice uh, individuals, Harry and Meghan are loved. And that's a fact. My family, that's a fact. And even as you can see, this mere campaign continues because it hasn't been able to turn people against Harry Meghan. It hasn't. People love Harry Meghan, my family. And the purpose of this mere campaign was to destroy Harry Meghan's you know, marriage and ensure that nobody wants to tune in you know, and follow Harry Meghan or catch up with what they're doing. That's the purpose. Is to ensure that nobody, no company, wants to even work with Harry Meghan. That's my family, you know, the purpose, the smear campaign. But it hasn't achieved its goal. Because people who are prominent want to associate or be close to Harry Meghan. You know? And that's something that UK media don't like seeing. But that is, my family, a reality. Harry and Meghan are loved. By the public in Britain. Even despite my family more than seven years long worth of smear campaign. And hate campaign. I guess Harry Meghan. Harry Meghan are loved. And my family. If Harry Meghan you know, are hated. As the media like to claim my family. Then why is it. Uh, you know every single day you can be like. You know. When will Harry come back. In even A.N. Wilson's own words. My family. Let's all hope that the truth. If there is one. Lasts. And that Meghan and Harry. And eventually welcome back into the royal family. In A.N. Wilson's own words. My family. You know, in his own words. Clearly, he wants Harry and Meghan back in the royal fold. The abusers want Harry and Meghan back. And they'll stop at nothing. At ensuring that Harry returns. My family. Kindly please, my family. Hear this, please. And uh, A.N. Wilson says that, you know, the royals could do with Harry returning. With the king and Kate, both temporarily out of 
action through illness, there is a real need for others to pitch in, especially in the low-profile, less glamorous work of charities. My family and patronages, my family says, you know, A.N. Wilson, my family says, A.N. Wilson. My family, don't they have Eugenie, Beatrice, Zara Tindall, Mike Tindall, my family, who clearly are always on vacation. You know, they go to F1 to watch my family, Formula One racing. You know, they go to the to enjoy themselves in a beach, my family, somewhere else. They, they clearly are having fun. Can they be called upon to come over and do royal engagements and cut some ribbons and do some charity work? Why are Ricky Media acting like Harry and Meghan are the only ones <laughs> who can come over my family and uh, do something? My family, it's about Harry and Meghan's star power. It's about Ricky Media. They chased away the goose that laid the golden eggs and now they want those goose back. Making them money. Taking advantage of their star power to make money for themselves. Because you all know, UK media don't want Harry Mega to make any money. My family, let me go right ahead and kindly read you this part, my family, because this is the most important part that even made me make this video of what A. N. Wilson said. He says, and I quote, Let's also not forget Donald Trump's veiled threat that if he is be elected to the White House this November, that he might expel Harry from the United States for allegedly giving misleading accounts of his previous drug use in his visa application, says A. N. Wilson. If he lied, they'll have to take action. Former President Donald Trump said, my family. First of all, Donald Trump, Harry and Meghan went to the US when Trump was the president. This guy, even if he wins, which my family, I don't think he will, there's no way he'll be able to kick out Harry. It's also worth noting are the people who Trump speaks to, UK media, are the ones who are calling and begging him to kick Harry out of the US. It is worth noting that. It's worth noting UK media are calling upon Donald Trump's help. In my family, harassing Harry in the US, in ruining Harry's life in the US, it is worth noting UK media are behind that, my family. They are the ones who are doing interviews we do not have to ask him questions about Prince Harry, UK media. You don't see American media outlets, CBS, CNN, my family, you know, trying to kick Harry out of the US family. It is the UK media, UK media, UK media. UK tablets are the ones behind this case. Now, my family, hear this. This is what they want to fully achieve. My family, even I did not expect this. I mean, I did know the part whereby, whereby they want her deported. But there are other things they are hoping will happen. My family, it's a script that they're hoping it becomes a reality. My family, kindly please hear this and I quote. He says, if Harry were to be deported by Trump, he says that this frankly hilarious development if this were to take place, my family hear this. Hear this, please. Megan would presumably, presumably be asked to give up her Californian lifestyle. I want to repeat that. Megan would presumably be asked to give up her Californian lifestyle. To say nothing of a hotly anticipated new luxury 
Jam Enterprise. It says A. N. Wilson, meaning my family, you know, basically Megan's luxury brand. A. N. Wilson is mocking that because, as you all know, they don't want Harry and Megan making money. And then he says, and then bring Archie and Lilibet to live in Windsor Great Park. And Lilibet, Archie and Lilibet to live in Windsor Great Park. And perhaps go to school with George, Charlotte, and Lewis. If you are writing the script of the royal soap opera, you could not hope for more for a more delicious twist in the plot, says A. N. Wilson. Apparently, my family they thought of that scenario, you know, playing out that way. It makes him happy. He calls it delicious. My family. He hopes that if Harry is deported, which he won't, my family, that Megan will be asked to give up a Californian life. A life of happiness for Harry Megan to come back to the abusers. Mother clearly are wanting their victims of abuse back so so badly, and also to bring Archie Lilibet to live in Windsor Great Park and go to school with William and Kids Kids. And my family, it's a script that Tuki Media have written, and they're hoping it plays out. That way. You know, Prince Harry said that he would really like, like so, so much to escape. But clearly, as you can see, the tabloids, the farm will not let him go. My family, the farm will not let him go. You can here refuse to let Harry go at all. My family, and this is a scenario. They want to play out. They are hoping that Harry gets deported. Megan gets forced to give up her life in California. Because the royal family, there's no Megan is able to, my family have that, you know, you know, American Riviera Orchard luxury, my family, that's the brand. Megan won't be allowed to have that. In the royal fold, Megan won't be allowed to have any peace in her life. Her kids will be scapegoats for William and Kate's kids. Already, my family, clearly, that's the agenda. And my family, I told you about that last part. And clearly, they're confirming my own words. They're confirming it that that's what they want. That's what they want. They're saying, bring Archie and Lilibet to live in Windsor Great Park and perhaps go to school with George, Lewis, and Charlotte, William's kids. Already, UK Media are setting the ground to beat Archie and Lilibet versus William and Kids Kids. And you all know, there is no way they will ever, or whatever, or are ever going to cover Archie Lilibet fairly, or even my family, you know, favorably. They were never, ever going to do that. Are never going to do that, my family. Never. Never. You know, and that's what I wanted to cover today. First of all, I was right when I told you that Tuki Media want Archie and Lilibet to be keep good Williams kids. I was right, my family. I was right. But it's so obvious that that's what they want. To beat Archie and Lilibet versus William and Kate's kids. And who do you think the farm is going to protect? Who do you think Cotillers, who have been so, so racist towards Megan, who have never, ever Condemned racism does Megan. Who do you think they're going to favor? William's kids or Archie and Lily Badana? I think you all know the answer. They're never ever going to favor Archie and Lily Badana. Never. 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 Not my family. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. But my family clearly, as we can see really, you know, UK media want to create a toxic environment for Megan in the US like they're doing, like they're doing in the U UK, my family. Like they've done in the UK. That's what they want. And they're enlisting the help of Donald Trump to try and my family, you know, destroy the lives that Harry and Meghan have built for themselves 
my family in the US. My family. You know, that's what, you know, I can see clearly is happening. And they are saying it. They are confessing. They are confessing about the outcome they hope to achieve. You know, and, and, and all this stuff they are saying confirms the ones who are behind this court case, my heritage. Clearly, my family are the UK tabloid press. You know, my family. And they speak about a script, a script playing out. A script. Whereby they say that if Harry is to be deported, Megan will be forced to give up her life in California. That mansion in Montecito, where they live in my family, that has gotten UK media bitter, so, so bitter, to come back to a shack in Nottingham Cottage to live there. To be amusement for the UK media. My family, that is a hellish scenario. And UK media are calling it delicious. My family, they're calling it a delicious twist in the plot of the script that they're writing for Harry and Meghan. My family, you know, the abusers, as you can see, constantly, they refuse to let Harry and Meghan go. Mostly Harry, actually. They refuse to let him go. My family. And they can't stand to see that Harry and Meghan are living their best lives in, in the US. They can't stand that. And they want to ruin that for Harry and Meghan. My family, you know, I hope they never ever ruin that. Let me even read you some comments also from members of the Scorpion family, you know, online. We've had some comments to make about my family, what Ian Wilson family has said about the agenda they have against Harry and Meghan. Or what they have planned for them, or what they hope to achieve with them, my family. My family. Someone says that A.N. Wilson, an alleged journalist, who works for UK Tabloid Daily Mail is finally saying what all the Harry and Meghan haters want. Someone to force a grown man and his family back to the UK and their kids to go to the same school as the other, you know, kid princes, kid, kids, kid princes, and my family prince. So they can have access to them. My family, that's what you give me they want. The thing is, you know, I do have to wonder. Why is it, do you give me the thing that, you know, UK is the only place that uh, Harry can go to because they want him deported. Why do you think that UK is the only country that Harry can go to? Why? 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 Why do you think that UK is the only country Harry can 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 will have to go back to. Why? Why, my family? Why? Just why? You know? They really want to force a fully grown man, a husband, a father back to the UK to bring his kids to continue that cycle of suffering, trauma passed on from my family, you know, father to kids. To continue that, you know, putting, you know, Archie and Lily Petana versus William and Kate's kids. That's what they want. Because really. The business model of the media depends on members of the royal family being at odds with each other, being at a con being my family in a constant conflict with each other. That is the business model of the media. That's how it works. They don't want Archie and back because they love them. No. Because they want to continue this drama. You know, to force them to perform for them. To, to mess up their lives for, for entertainment, for amusement. That's what they want. You know? As you can see, as A.N. Wilson says himself, it's a script. A script. My family. A script. A reality script whereby my family, they want to force a husband back to the UK. And which then leads to Megan, which they hope also will force her to give up her life in California to come back to the UK with the kids and the kids to attend a school where William and kids' kids are, that we can be able to beat Archie and Libertana versus William and kids' kids, whereby Archie and Libertana become scapegoats for William and kids' kids. Just like Harry has been William's scapegoats, William's scapegoat ever since my family, he was born. My family, may the media never ever succeed. My family, you know, 
and someone else say that the tablets have clearly shown that they have spun the heritage foundation's flimsy visa case as some kind of quasi criminal you know case on deportation it is not this case is about disclosure yet the tabloids continue to act as if harry is on trial and faces deportation any minute now harry is not even directly involved in the case and trump is just showing off u.s press has barely covered this only you are covering it and the tabloids misrepresented megan's case against the male as doomed guess what megan won they also misrepresented samantha's case against megan saying that samantha will win samantha will get megan guess what megan won her case megan won the case and now they are doing the same thing with the visa case harry told us wikimedia are able to make so much money so much money so much money wikimedia are able to my family clearly you know make so much money you know by if a case goes to trial if a case goes to trial they're able to make money off of that they don't report the news they create it they create it that's why there's an, there's, a, there's an incentive to get you to trial. This is Harry, my family said. That's why Daily Mail wanted Megan, my family. That case that Megan filed after Daily Mail illegally published Megan's letter. They wanted Megan, my family, be questioned under oath. There is an incentive to make money from a trial. They want you my family to to fix the trial that, that way they're able to make money off of that trial and they've tried that with samantha's case versus megan now they're trying it with heritage versus dhs my family they're trying it you know to make money off of prince harry they see him as a source of entertainment for them and even if harry doesn't want to play the game they'll force him to play the game they my family use these evil schemes to try my family, you know, just uh, trouble Prince Harry Meghan. Because my family, that's what they're doing, really. They're trying to trouble or stress out Harry Meghan. My family, you know, I hope you can be just close against Harry Meghan. Never, ever. My family succeed. My family, you know. They really want Harry to be forced back to the UK alone. I think that's what they really hope, mostly, my family. But really, today we're learning more and more things. You know, how they want Meghan to give up her life in California. To come back to abuse. To, our, to the arms of our abusers again. Megan is never coming back. That my family I am sure of. That I am sure of. You know, you've seen her actions. After the Queen's funeral, Megan was completely done with all of them. She was done. She was done. You know? But they're hoping to force Harry back. Which also they're hoping that will lead. To my family, if Harry has to, you know, go back, of course, Harry won't want, want, want to maybe maybe go back you know, on his own. You may say, you know, make her come with me. My family, that's what they want. That's what Wikimedia, media, you know, are hoping will be the scenario that will happen. Will become a reality, my family. I pray that God may protect Harry and Meghan and their kids. And that no woman formed against Harry and Meghan, but Wikimedia, media, the farm, or anyone who has ill pushes against Harry and Meghan. My family may no one fall against Harry and Meghan ever, ever succeed ever prosper my family may no one put against harry megan ever prosper my family and this weird obsessiveness that took me they have towards harry you know they really want to force harry back by force to the uk alone you know my family i hope that you can never ever succeed i hope they don't ever my family succeed and clearly they want megan humiliated they want Harry and Meghan to give up the beautiful life they've created for themselves and their kids in California to come back to abuse, to come back to, to drama, that cycle of suffering again and again and again. Harry told us he doesn't want his kids to go through what he went through. My family, and I believe him. Because if, he, if his kids are to grow up in, in the UK, then guess what? Harry won't be able to end 
That's a call of suffering and trauma passed on my family from father to son in the royal family. You won't be able to end it. It will, it will continue. It will continue. You know? And my family, Harry has said, he doesn't want his kids to suffer. And so has Megan. And in the UK, UK media have my family an agenda against them. And if they can bully a little bit of our name, if they can attack Archie even before Archie was born, my family, and, and they're so young, so, so young. Just imagine my family, what would happen if, if they had any kind of access to Archie and Nibitana. We we'll treat them appallingly, appallingly. And Wiki Media must never ever be given any kind of access to Harry Megan's kids. And Harry Megan protect their kids' privacy. You know? And I love how Harry Megan are keeping the kids safe from the Wiki Media. You know, and they hope they continue to my family do that. You know? Trump can't take Harry out of the US just because he feels like it or because he wants to. He can't. He can't. My family and Trump won't. My family. You tell me kindly your thoughts about what we have discussed and to hear your opinion. May God bless you all. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever, my family. And may no weapon form against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and Libra than ever prosper. My family, UK Media, won't make Meghan give up anything anymore. Not again. Meghan gave up her amazing life. You know, her blog, the thing that she loves so much. To marry into the royal family, marry Prince, marry Prince Harry. She won't give up American Riviera Orchard to go back to abuse again. That's never going to happen. And you can know that. They know it. They know it. They know it. Even though they hope they can somehow force Megan to give up that, they know Megan is never going to want to give up that. They know that. And for what? To go back to abuse? No. No way. No way. My family. No way. Megan is never going to want that. And Prince Harry also himself will never ever put Megan or Archie Lippert in a place whereby it's unsafe for my family, his wife and kids. My family, you tell me kindly your thoughts about what we should discuss. I want to hear your opinion. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bedana. And may no be formed against Harry, Megan, Archie, and Lily Bedana ever prosper. Stay tuned to the next video. Love you also forever. And may God bless you all my family. Hello, members of Musica Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.